Oh, thank God! <laughs> Virgil grew another so level. Was, so that was the only move it knew. Okay. So we kind of dodged a bullet there. Yeah, it's <gasps> Dude, I am so f awake right now. Oh. Woo! Woo! We should have uh, named Reggie Steel Ric Flair. Uh, what's the most ancient uh, Relicanth? <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll name our Relicanth uh, Ric Flair. If we see a Relicanth. Or no, one of the fossil Pokemon. Yeah, we'll name him Ric Flair. <laughs> We can, name, we can name the fossil Pokemon after, like, dead wrestlers, too. This is true. <laughs> Benoit. No, no. Not Maybe, Benoit. no. Also, I'm not hitting the grass anymore. I don't want to come across another one of them uh, one of legendaries. Those, yeah, it's good. It's good. <sighs> Hopefully that's not, like, a Ratata or something. What do you mean? Like, something equivalent to a Ratata. Like, because they... they change over the Pokemon that is in that area in the, the wherever they spawn like if it's one that's common in a lot of places oh so like Registeel could be a common spawn anywhere <laughs> I, so before before I'm uh, we're doing this I did run some tests of the randomizer just to see what what settings would affect what and this is the only seed where I'm encountering legendaries right away this is quite Quite some odd luck we have found ourselves with. Hey, Paul. And no scratch. Nice job, Virgil. Yeah, it's it's uh, hitting. Maybe cast form is like, I know cast form eventually gets like power creep. Like it's eventually not good enough in the higher yeah. levels. But the, the early last, on, the last move it learns is at level thirty, and even then you need setup with like the weather um, stuff. Yeah. Is it, is it, does the move change? Is it like natural gift or like secret power or something like that? Uh, weather ball. Weather ball. It changes type according yeah. to what the weather is. Yeah. Also, let's uh. We could survive it. Okay, I'm gonna. S okay, I could run, but if it says you can't run, um, we need someone to tank the attack. Yeah. Unless it's a critical, Brian Danielson will survive. Yeah. Oh wait a minute. Yeah. So I'm. Oh, okay. Yeah, see? It's scary. <laughs> every time. Every... Okay. Okay. I'm gonna fight this fucking little kid. Okay, I'm gonna use some potions. I'm gonna heal everyone up. And then walking forward, I'm not going back. Because I don't want to risk another encounter. Thank the lord. Oh my. <laughs> is, there, is, there, is there a wrestler finisher where the guy sacrifices his own health to, to deal damage and get the pin. Darby. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's his entire moveset. Yeah, it is. <laughs> also, that kid was not fightable. This he, kid is, He though. is. Yeah, he is, yeah. Oh, my God, berries. Oh, yeah, there's a berry patch up there. We'll have to equip berries to all of our Pokemon. I never do that because I'm just too lazy to, but a lot of fully evolved Pokemon right yeah. away. And, like, they're either legendary, pseudo-legendary, or psychic. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, Pound, Disable, Confusion, and Hypnosis. Okay, so just use Disable, which means I got a switch. How sad would you have been if you would have chosen the Ludicolo? <laughs> I like Ludicolo, it's really cool. Like, I was tempted to pick that more than Rosalia. That's fair. What? Rosetta would be really useful because of all the- they could you probably learn like sleep powder and paralyzed powder and poison powder. That's fair. At least get help you like catch good stuff. Yeah. I think Lakara did a randomizer where like all the evolutions were random. Speaking of a Pokemon we could have picked. Oh yeah, Lombre. Lombre. Yeah, that's the one. How do you guys feel about the like, I think Ludicolo is the best, but between um, uh, Lombre and uh, Lotad, which one is better? Oh, is Lombre. I... Lombre. Oh, really? Oh, I saw it. Now I think about it, yeah, Lotad is just kind of like a, a, a an oval with a face on it. Yeah, he is. Yeah. I mean, look at this scrub. I mean, he looks cute, though. He is cute, but at the same time, though. Lude. Hey, guys. Do you want to risk this item? Yes. Yeah. 
okay. <laughs> I would thought there would be more discussion than that, honestly. That kind of potion, I could buy tons of those. All right. Okay, no encounters. Good. Next town, baby. Petalburg. Oh, is this the first gym? This is... No, this is where uh, the dad's gym is. The first gym is the town after this. Yeah. This is, uh... Who's Jonathan or Jodio's dad, technically? They haven't revealed that yet, right? Oh, in the manga? Yeah. Um... Diavolgiorno. We've seen his mom, but she's kind of, uh... She married into the larger family, probably. Yeah, I think so. Uh, so, yeah, that's probably gonna be a reveal of some sort. Especially with the parallels to Part 5, they're definitely leaning on that. Um... We can't really buy anything else. We're not getting a lot of money, what's going happening? Yeah... Maybe this is just how Gen 3 was. I didn't change any money settings. I just changed the, um, uh... I wonder if randomized trainer Pokemon also affected the money as well. So maybe we'll just get a million for one trainer. My face is reflected into the water. It's a new graphics thing they added. Um, is there anything we can grab from these townsfolk? Give me your money. Yeah. Me and Brett played this, uh, I think we might I might have mentioned it on Facebook, but we, uh, I showed them this ROM called Pokemon Outlaw, where every time you went to someone's house, they go eat, get out, and then they challenge you to a Pokemon battle. <laughs> and then they lampshade, why would you just go inside someone's house? I agree. Alright, um, can I skip the catching tutorial? I won't mind, oh. Nope. There's some purple. <laughs> Okay, so okay, so uh, an NPC blocking you and saying, "I dropped my glasses. Please don't cross this area." I can sympathize with that, you see. But the guy in Gen Five, because I'm playing Pokemon White recently, who's yeah. all like, "There's a rare Pokemon here," and then just blocks your way, like fuck that guy. Oh yeah, absolutely. Also, also in Black Two specifically, there's like a bunch of people who are just dancing and blocking off a whole route, and they're all like. Today we're dancing for no reason. Someday we'll leave for no reason. Just straight well, up. That, that's kind of funny. It is kind of funny. Ah, <laughs> uh, here's Wally. It's Wally! He's our precious boy <sighs> learning about the world. Oh man, Gen 6 like really turned him into, like, eventually just turns into one of those competitive uh, Pokemon people. Wally? Yeah, you, like, if you notice, like, and rematch him later on in Endgame, like, his team is, like, super competitive. Like, oh, is this in, like, Alpha Sapphire Omega Ruby? Yeah. Okay, I thought you were saying, like, oh, Kalos. Oh, yeah. What's Wally gonna catch? Is Whoa. it gonna be a Registeel? Okay, still Oh, it's still Ralts. Ralts. Now, he does catch a Ralts here, but it'll be randomized when we fight him. Oh, Although, I'm pretty sure the Rival's the only one who, who's going to have their Pokemon, like the same Pokemon the whole game. Now remember, Wally, if Ralts faints, you have to bury him. <laughs> That's what the narrative is now, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we helped you get out of your shell. Now die. <laughs> These are the rules of the road, kid. I just, Ross is like this young boy, and then like, his Ralts eventually evolves into this super sexy and loyal Gardevoir. <laughs> you know, he goes, <laughs> what, what are you giving me that look for? What? I'm just saying, it's kind of awkward, consider, like, for him to grow up and to experience that. Well, in Gen, <laughs> in Gen 6, it's changed to a Gallade. Well, I mean, well, no, it depends on, I mean, it, it, it can be. Well, no, in Gen 6, it changes to a Mega Gardevoir. No, it's the Glade. Gen, Gen 4 is where it becomes Glade. Yeah, in Gen 6, though, Wally's Pokemon is a Glade. Oh! Oh, okay, that's what you meant, yeah. Yeah. That's for Rosperia City. <laughs> Man, do you see Plague of Gripes' uh, video about... Poke love. Oh, I have some. <laughs> get ready to get used to eating eggs. <laughs> we all know what's happening out there. No one says it, but they know. 
You think this spotlight gets a smoke on? Heck you! <laughs> they make it very, like, uh, child-friendly, the, um, uh, the egg laying. Like, cause all, there's always an NPC that says, Sometimes the two Pokemon are together and egg will just appear. No one knows how it happens. And that's how, and that's, that's the... That's how it's born. It's just that's how young the uh, player base is. Yes. What was that about? I don't know. I didn't care. <laughs> Alright, Route 104. 104. Route 104. Oh, this is another one where we could go to the water. Oh, let's fight some trainers first. Yeah. Get some Pokeballs. Annihilated it because of the four times weakness. I felt like such a fucking idiot. Yeah. <laughs> Not that I care oh. much. Oh, yeah, I just realized. Um, also, yeah, we get a Rattata. Okay. Um, like, I might kill it, though. I mean, Raticate's fine. Well, it, does it evolve into a different one? No. Uh, it's, I don't think that evolution... I think it only changes in Alola. Yeah. Um, okay. We might be too leveled for this. I might be too tough for this guy. Uh... I'll go back and get some more Pokeballs for the forest. Yeah. Okay. What the hell were you naming the Rattata? I guess, uh, yeah, it would be your turn, Danny. You got final say. What about Hakko's Bales? What, no, what do you say? Is, uh, uh, Hakko's Bales. Hakko's Bales? Bay from Hollow Live. Oh. <laughs> She's a rat. What wrestler who's is a rat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say who's a rat. <laughs> no one. Who's a rat? Oh, bunnies are kind of like rodents, right? So we can name it the bunny. No. <laughs> no. La bunnies in or no? It's, I got it. no. La bunnies not. In what you got? Yet. Name Q T. Q T. Oh, Q T. Marshall. <laughs> he is a rat. Just Q T. Q T. Okay. <laughs> He's a man of his word. He's a man of his word. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'm leveling up this guy. <laughs> um, also, yeah, let's go back and grab some Pokeballs. Oh, we could have named him Serpentico. Ah, sh I don't know, we're gonna name the, if we get a snake, Serpentico. Oh, jeez, that's tough, ain't he? Oh, Slack King. That could have been Orange Cassidy. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a good one, too. The can name him fruit. Yokozuna. You ever see Yokozuna, like, wrestle or in anything? No. He's like the fattest man in the world. Huh? And he clearly gets gassed within the first couple minutes of a match because of that. But his whole gimmick is that he's large. <laughs> and that the larger he gets, the more powerful he gets. Huh. But the problem is he can't do long matches because he's, Cause he he's just does. not that healthy enough to do so. Isn't that, like, what Jade Cargo's problem is right now? Well, yeah, her problem is that she can't do long matches. Yeah. Because she's still training a bunch. Yep. Man, Jane is like... Like, she got that push just because she def she just straight up looks that powerful. And that's yeah. why she got that push. But she the problem is that we're, it's taking a while for her... To I think she herself has said that she's ready to do longer matches, but they just aren't booking her like that yet. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I really wish, though, that they would just, just give her somebody that's actually, like, going to... Thing. Yeah, Bill, uh, like uh, have Nyla Rose steal the belt or anything. It's like, like her stealing the belt made me realize how boring her regular streak is. Exactly. Um, these guys are trainers, I think. Oh man, what's he gonna, what's he gonna uh, throw in front of us? Yeah. Man, Scarlet. That's not not tough. I think you're gonna die. I think I'm gonna. I think Brian Danielson is gonna take on Daddy Magic here. Daddy Magic? No, this isn't Daddy Magic. Who, he's. Shift Tree? I, what would he be? Honestly, I would have named Shift Tree Brian Danielson too. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I feel like that's to match, match the uh, facial that, expression, you know? Or the Great Muda. Yeah, actually, yeah, that kind of looks like his mask <laughs> when you think about it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Great Muda, please don't say any slurs during your last interview. <laughs> <laughs> Did I tell you about that, Brett? No. Uh, Great Muda had his last match recently. It was a good match. He he uh, he uh, fought against uh, uh, sh what's uh, Shika something. I don't know, but he did it with Sting, didn't he? He did. I think he did. I think it was like a tag team match. Yeah, it was Sting and Darby. And then in the interview, he mentioned he was. I think I think he said something like he was grateful for um uh, his final opponent. I keep forgetting his name. Then he just like and, out and of he, nowhere says the N word. No, he, no, 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 no. We called him uh, uh, the F word. The F. Uh, I don't know for He's all like, I'm grateful for him, even though he's kind of a. <laughs> that's what he said. I think that's what he said. Oh, he I, anyone's watching this video? The two people that are watching this video, don't quote me on that. Please look it up yourself. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Don't do that. Just stop thinking about this at all. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I want to say it's like Shikamaru or not Shikamaru, the wrestler's name. He has a really cool theme in WWE. Huh. Do, do, do. He also had the knee as his finisher, like that Kenny Omega took it because he used to be a part of the Bullet Club. Oh. Did you see what's in the building? Uh, that's probably it's just uh, Pico and the Boatman. Or not yet. Okay. Oh, we have to rescue Pico from, like, Team Magma Aqua. Team Our Environment. Purple, purple. Team Environment. Oh, maybe equip some of the Pokemon with uh, berries. Yeah, yeah. By the way, you told me that, like, the teams in, like, fucking, uh, Gen 9 was, like, Slytherin? Oh yeah, kinda. <laughs> like Slytherin? Like, because like, there's like a whole like, Pokemon Academy that uh, is centered around the story. Oh. And I think I think there's a rival clique or a house mm. that uh, represents the evil gang. Boo! Oh, she's a, she's a trainer. Yeah. If you see someone giving the thousand yard stare, they're a trainer, and they're completely fine. Did I buy more Pokemon balls? I forgot if I did that or not. I think I went back and just healed my Pokemon and ran back. Yeah, you, 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 you just healed them. Yeah. I gotta say, Brett, it's been a while since I've, uh... I should probably swap out this Pokemon, by the way. But it's been a while since I've talked a lot and played a lot. <laughs> it's been a while since both of us have done that. Yeah. It's been a long time for me. Was the last thing I recorded for you like Skyrim or was? Oh no, I think it was Trigger Man. For me? Yeah, oh, yeah, I think that yeah. was the last thing we uh, recorded together. That was like years ago. Yeah, yeah man, that game was fucked up. Oh, quick attack! That will be really useful. Whenever you play against an AI trainer in like the later gens, and they like, and you're faster than them, but you have, but you're in the red health, and they use quick attack, you feel like. <laughs> It's like, oh. So far, this is going really well. Yeah. Minus the Pokemon that we've killed, so that might be over. Well, Registeel brought it on himself. Yeah. That's, that's such a gag, and then just, we're gonna catch you, and then they just commit suicide. <laughs> that's dark. You should explode yourself now. <laughs> you should use self destruct. And give back some of that oxygen that all the other Pokemon use. I don't know. Um, do we want any more potions? Eh, let's get another potion. And I don't want to buy anything else. Let's go. We'll definitely start. Want to start buying these uh, these X speeds and X defense. Yeah. Why? It doubles the stat. I guess so. So but... if we need to tank an attack. Desperately, we use one of those. Oh, for like an X defend. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I guess. I was thinking like, but why? It takes a whole turn. It does, but like if you des again, if you just desperately need to tank something or one, or mainly just tank something like okay. speed and defense, speed and offense stuff. Who cares about that? But the X defends and special defense, those are very valuable. All right, Pedalberg Woods. Uh, let's just encounter something right away. Let's not even front. 
Hey! Hey, Zangoose. That's cute. That can replace our Ratatata if it doesn't become our HM slave. How do you spell that? Pedal? Uh, pedal and then Berg, B U R G. QT is not as tough as he would have you think. <laughs> Wait, did we... What was that? I was not paying attention. Did, did QT die? No, he took a lot of damage, though. I had to switch out. Oh, God, that's a... Maybe get him to the yellow. I, I, Twister's getting one shot him. I feel in my gut. Well, uh, heal up Rattata and then... Yeah, upstairs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. USPC. <laughs> yeah, my phone Ah. Then I might just tell Kayla I'm gonna be a little bit late. Ah, okay, okay. Critical hit, damn. If QT gets critical, it's gonna end up like every single one of his matches. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, one attack and then switching out. And there goes that orange berry. Yeah, I don't need to switch out. Oh geez, that's a low catch rate. Something I've noticed is that when I'm playing through the other Pokemon games is that my Pokemon die a lot. Yeah. And that made me very worried for this. But now that we have a tank right away, I don't care about that too much. <laughs> yeah, Zangoose! What's a Zangoose? Who has claws? John Moxley has claws. <laughs> claws. It's his turn. It's for bristles if it encounters any survivor. Yeah, where are you gonna name uh, Zangoose Brett? Um. Huh. Oh man, it, it already looks edgy. It's, uh, <laughs> infinite. Infinite. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like a like a Sonic character. So, are they supposed to be like named after edgy things, or you're yeah, just... edgy characters? Yeah. Who's the edgy character? In uh, he's, he's, oh, he's like this robot oh, from, Oh, uh, let me just show you his theme song. <laughs> we might have to cut this out. I was gonna say, we can, yeah, just, we'll we just, can just talk we'll, over we'll it. We'll just pause it. Yeah. We'll just pause we, it here. Yeah, well, I, I know his song is like, I am the sharpest of blades. Uh -huh. Like literal edge. Alright, so stop it here. Okay, stop it here? Yeah. Okay. Blades. Wow, I hate Zangoose now. <laughs> 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 or it's, I love that song though. <laughs> I am the sharpest of blades. I'll cut you down in a second. I'm gonna scratch you in a second. You scratch in a second. Oh my god. Oh no, this Pokemon's dead. <laughs> Infinite use sharpest of blades. Should have named him Judge Dredd. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. He's always frat. He's always frowning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We could get like a. We should get a Judge Dread Pokemon where his eyes are kind of covered by like his hair, and he just has a frown, a perpetual frown. I like it. What Pokemon do you suggest that is? Um, I'm just saying they should. I don't think there is a Pokemon designed that way, unless there's something in Gen 8 or 9 that I haven't seen. Um... Oh no! Hmm? Oh god! Oh, that's not too bad. How are your? How's your special defense, uh, Infinite? Good. Pretty good. Looks like. Watch the gym leader just, like, this is going so well. Watch the gym leader just fucks up. I might need to switch, though. Nice. Okay. There. I'm switching after this, though. Yeah. I'll switch to my red antenna. Oh! Is Bayleaf the worst-looking stage one evolution ever? No, no, it's stage oh. two. Or I'm saying, is is uh, Chikorita the worst looking? Oh, Chikorita? 
Because um, it's just like a weird pill head with eyeballs and a leaf. No. Is there something worse than that? I mean, so I like Chikorita. Uh, what, um, what would you say is worse? From Gen 5? Yeah, the one that's like a clown one. Oh, but it turns into Samurai, though. No, not that guy. You're talking about Gen 7 one. It's like, a, yeah. it has like the nose. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, ball yeah. Oh, the, the seal. Yeah, the seal. Yeah, I'm yeah. not a fan of that one either. Yeah, put that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Next to like the Fire Dark type and the Ghost Grass type, holy fuck, was that, did that under deliver? Yeah, dude. Although it is like a Fairy Water type, which is cool. I just hated the evolution part too. I just, but I hate it. Yeah. Oh, Sneasel. That's probably how low level these Pokemon are. I assume Gen 3 was like this, where it was just kind of weak Pokemon all around until we get to the next town. Ah, uh, maybe. I'm worried about that defense decrease. I'm switching out. He's <laughs> got another item on. Overt. Oh, I even berries. Oh, you even berries. Yeah. Oh, QT8 is berry, though. Yeah. Kick his head in! Also, based on what's happening, I guess he ate every other member of the factory recently, and only Hobbs is left. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hobbs was never part of the factory. Yeah, he was just a, an associate. Yeah. Which, I'm not gonna lie, I wish... I wish... Instead of calling back to the QT thing... Granted, I like QT TV. That was pretty funny last night um oh i didn't i didn't see that my last right. night yeah so they brought back qtb that was uh that was a gimmick he had yeah it was pretty good mm. <laughs> you know uh, another common gimmick that i'm surprised is, is as common as it is is the wrestler having a tv segment in the middle of the show yep like rick flair had one the miz had one uh qt has one qt has one uh, a Bray Wyatt had like a kids show, like a creepy kids show with horror undertones. Yeah. Uh, there was Total Divas. <laughs> that wasn't in the middle of the show, though. Oh, it wasn't. Yeah, that was just a, a very embarrassing. Didn't Kevin Owens have one too. I think yeah, I think he had the KO show. I think that's what he had. Yeah. I assume it was like an interview show, like every other one of these things are. Yep. I was gonna say I. We could write, name one, I'm telling you, Sammy Zane. <laughs> we named the most precious little boy. <laughs> the most lovable. The Bloodline is one of the best storylines that have come out in the modern era. I would have loved having a Bell Bell Sprout. What do you think of Bell Sprout's design? I personally think it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like uh, Victory Bell's like design where it's just like upside down now. It's a big pitcher plant. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, like here. Yay. Uh, when do we get the item detector? I have no idea. One Pokeball. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we yeah, we, are, we aren't Link from Zelda. We aren't gonna, you know, be all like, yeah, every time we get an item. Yeah. Says you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what the gimmick is gonna be. A paralyzed heal, yeah. It's not as useful now because there's not that many, like, bugs and uh, grass types. Yeah. Not one to be found. Nope, I don't think there are any Pokemon named Shroomish anywhere. I think you gotta go over to Kanto oh, to find Team those. Aqua. I think in Emerald it's like mostly Team Aqua. Oh man, what's this guy gonna like throw out? The, 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 the criminal teams are always slightly tougher than the local trainers, so this will be interesting. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I heard you were... Talking like smack about my pre evolution. Yeah, well, it kind of sucks, not gonna lie. Okay, survive. Oh, okay, okay, I think we're good. 
we got this in the bag. Oh wow, so tough though. Oh no, my attack was lowered. I'm pretty sure all fire types are like special attack in this gen. So I would always go for alligator in gen 2. It's, it's... And I get like PTSD whenever I see a Mega V on the other side. <laughs> Magnesium. I, I make fun of Meganium a lot, Magnium. but it had it's a very tanky Pokemon. Yeah, it's defense and special defense are at like a hundred. Damn. I defeat oh, the bug catcher, the bug catcher gang. That dude, dude, la the lamest criminal faction idea pre Gen Seven when they made bug types good finally would be a bug type based faction. Oh, you <laughs> mean the bug assassins from Pokemon Outlaw? Oh yeah. <laughs> i just show you that sometime. Oh, we got maybe. a Great Ball! Nice. Like, Pokemon Outlaw is like this, this is ROM hack where it's like, everything is edgy. So you get to like to start the very first scene of the Pokemon game where they show you the professor. But in this ROM hack, they're all like, no one is here for you because you had no one in your life. This is the world of Pokemon. It's fucked up. <laughs> oh, talk to that person so he's a trainer. Oh, no, he's, he's not a trainer. Tangela. Tangela. Oh, Tangela's okay. Now that we can catch it. You ever wonder what's underneath those? Um. Eyes. Grimace. <laughs> I think it's. I think it's just a mass of. Uh, when you see Grimace like from McDonald's. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was... but, but there's. You could have gone with like the fry creatures. Okay. What? <laughs> the hamburglar's under there. Oh, that's true. I didn't think little like pop pop things <laughs> see what i th i think tangela is just straight up a mass of vines and if you try to get to where its eyeballs are you'll just push them around its body i think that's what it is it's just they're free floating yeah i think that it's like uh like cloister where it's just like a head oh yeah there's yeah. a little so if you pull down the vines in front of its eyes, you'll see like a big grin. Exactly. <laughs> Tangle has actually got a really good defense, like 115. Oh yeah. And so become... what is what is good defense? Like, because I never played competitive Pokemon. Uh, 90 Pokemon. is pretty above average, more or less. And then 100 is really good, and then above that, you know, it's really good. Got it. And we're talking about like base stats, but like the base stats kind of determine how good the, they'll be in the future anyway. So. Right. And we're talking base stats is like level five. Yeah. Or actually, I think it, I think the way it works on whatever wiki Brett's is looking at, I'm assuming it's Bulbapedia. It's like at level fifty. Oh. Yeah. Like uh. And when you play Pokemon online, like your Pokemon gets set to level fifty anyway, so. That makes sense. Yeah. So that's kind of what you base it off on. Oh, this is, uh... Okay, Let's, only, uh... only three. Should I, I, I should switch it out, actually. Get in here, QT. <laughs> you can take it. Actually, QT might have even worse defense. Yes. I'm just going to assume Delcat is faster. With this quick attack. Ooh! Okay. okay, 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 I'm gonna pull out my dragon then. <laughs> Do my strategy for all these battles is try and level up the weaker ones. If it doesn't work out, just bring up. Just bring just out their, the closer. Just, just kick their fucking heads in. <laughs> kick their fucking heads in. Is this like water poison? Yes. Because yeah. it's a blowfish. Yeah. Is it poison in this gen? Oh yeah, I, I think so. I think it was Poison was in the first gen. Hmm. Yeah, it was it was a uh, poison when it first appeared in uh, gen two. TK 
can't be popular if I lose. <laughs> we got so excited for this stupid. <laughs> it's probably just like a potion or a leaf. Oh, a Torkoal. I love Torkoal. I'll switch out to uh, Virgil. Good. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, it does no water move. Okay, yeah. Gen uh, and Pokemon Platinum, there's a lot of trainers who are all like. Platinum was like first time where it was like you have to complete your Pokedex before you can do po post game stuff. And they have a bunch of just random citizens going, you can't go back here until your Pokedex is filled up. It's like, who are you? Who are you to tell me I can't progress? Right? Have you ever done. Have you ever filled your Pokedex? No? Back off. <laughs> I'm convinced a number of people fill their Pokedex, but none of the professors share any of their data, which is why a new <laughs> kid has to, like, oh, we gotta eat there and fill time. it up. <laughs> you see that the new protagonist, so Ash is, like, retired now. He's no longer the protagonist of yeah. the anime. But the new main character's, like, Pokemon is a Pikachu with a hat, and that's the difference. Well, I thought no, that, like, uh, there was... No, that's not the main character. Is that the main character? No, oh. there's a person with a Pikachu with a hat. Okay, yeah. okay. I wonder if Game Freak is just, like, paranoid, like, we can't make a successor to Pikachu. We've tried so many times, and it's never worked. It's like Mickey Mouse. Like, it's more recognizable than Mickey Mouse nowadays. Yeah. Ah! Yes. Yeah. I was gonna say, there, I swear, there was a, some kind of study done where it was like that. Yeah, because kids like like video games. Pikachu's well known, whereas Mickey is mostly just known as like the Disney symbol. Yeah. Yep. I feel like kids would would call him the mouse more than just Mickey. Um. Okay, so this is Rat One of Four. Yeah. Okay, so I'll write that down. I, oh. Oh well, I'll just kill this guy. <laughs> oh sure, I'll accept your challenge. <laughs> Gaslighting. Oh, he's a rich boy. Oh, well, lazy Joey. Lazy Joey. Oh, look at that cool. Oh, it's, it's, it's Fred Flintstone. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be based off like a Flintstone or just some cartoon caveman. Yeah. I feel like. They made for alligator first, and then they're like, "Okay, how do we make this like?" How do we bring it back? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel like they always just make like the first and third forms. Yeah, and then they're all like, like the well, second form, they're like the eh. second form. Just kind of push them together, you know. Like bay leaf is just like meganium with with just different leaves. Yep. I mean, there's some winners. Like I like Charmeleon. Oh, Pokeball, sweet. Yeah. Oh. We have tons of those friends. <laughs> and, uh, um, uh, Sep, uh, Grovile's cool. Grovile's cool. Yeah. I like Torchic. Um, the, the, the uh, Combuskin? Combuskin. Yeah. Eh, it's, it's alright. Anyway, let's, uh, let's see we get. But some of them, like, uh, War Turtle. Yeah. Are... Okay. Um, there is a Dupe Clause. This is Route 104. We've been here before. Oh, we've already been here before? Yeah, this is the other half of it. Oh, okay. Well, I'll just kill him then. Goodbye, QT. <laughs> goodbye. G goodbye. Oh, goodbye, one of the QT. other members of the factory yes. whose names I'll never remember. <laughs> it's absolutely right. Was the factory big at any point? I do not know. They feel like such a... I don't know. They, they feel like just a group of, like, grunts in a heel faction. And the leader is also a grunt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 